Hey guys, hope you're doing real well. I'm Sarkis and welcome to Home Theatre Tour Episodes and today is lucky episode number 23. In these types of videos, I feature some of the best home theatres I think needs showcasing. Could be flashy or simple, classy or modern, clean or even messy. Why? Because I love inspiring people and give you guys a voice to share some of these amazing rooms to the rest of the world. So I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes and if so, please consider subscribing and if you have a room that needs attention, please shoot me an email, message me on my Instagram or Facebook. If you see anything you like, I'll have some of these items listed with the affiliate links down below for you guys to purchase, which also helps me grow this channel, which means more back to you guys. Today we're finally changing it up for Marvel comic intros to DC, which I'm also a huge, huge fan of and I can't wait to show you guys this awesome room that has a lot of cool features. I would like to also give a huge, huge shout out to Tommy Guns, Kiran Raj and Martin Bailey and many more of my subscribers for being such awesome dudes that keep supporting this channel weekly basis by commenting and liking on these videos. Everyone else, please feel free to join in on others' conversations down below in the comment section. It truly helps with the performance of my videos and helps this channel grow in many different ways. But for now, you know what to do. Hit that like button, crank up the volume, turn up that bass, and let's take a look at Home Theater Tours episode number 23, featuring a 5.2.4 clip surround sound setup. Enjoy. So today's epic room belongs to Nilesh from Melbourne, Australia, who's been a senior database administrator for many years and his interest in AV started at a very young age when his parents purchased their first CRT TV with a two-channel Pioneer stereo system. He's a massive fan of football, 49ers being his favorite team, loves everything about Bollywood and superheroes, and in 2004 he built his new house which gave him the opportunity to build his first DIY cinema room that saved him a fortune. Are you guys ready? I know I am. Let's play the biggest intro of this channel. Enjoy. One of my favorite DC characters, as you guys can see. But anyways, this room is six by five meters. Initially, it had a 65-inch Samsung Plasma TV, 
with a custom built cabinet in the standard looking room. In 2015, Nilesh had plenty of time off from work, so he started to plan his cinema room with a vision he had in mind and just went for it. With the help of his wife, he built a drop down bulkhead around the room, cut the walls open for pre wiring his equipment, patched, sanded, and finished it off with a dark color paint. Installed some cool LED strip lights and finished the flooring off with this amazing looking Feltex 8522 woven carpet. During the build process he made one mistake and that was the rear riser was too narrow and didn't allow the seats to recline so he ripped it back off and did it the right way. Let's take a closer look at his surround sound system and starting at the front of course bang in your face are these incredible Klipsch RP8000F reference premiere floor standing speakers offering smooth response with ultra wide sound dispersion featuring dual 8 inch woofer drivers with a titanium diaphragm tweeter powering up to 600 watts at 8 ohms. Matching these massive towers is the ultimate quad woofer Klipsch RP504C reference premier center speaker. This high quality 3 way 5 driver center channel delivers also up to 600 watts of clear sound from its hybrid cross section Trackstrix horn tweeter that's paired with these quad 133mm ceramic metallic cone woofers. For its surround channels, Nilesh has kept it in the reference premier family and he's using these 400 watt Klipsch RP502S dipole type speakers. Featuring dual titanium LTS vented tweeters with dual ceramic metallic woofers creating an immersive sound effect that will change your listening experience. Now of course on a setup like this, Dolby Atmos is a must and up above we have 4 Studio Acoustics SA360W Dolby Atmos ceiling speakers that also come with paintable grills. To the front next to his Kryptonic towers, he's hooked up two Polk HDS 12 subwoofers. Now these babies are equipped with a front firing long throw 12 inch Klippel optimized drivers, looks awesome and features state of the art 400 watt class D amplifiers. This amazing 5.2.4 setup is being powered by the superior 9.2 channel Denon AVRX 4500 4K AV receiver. This 11.2 channel processor is a beast producing up to 200 watts on each of the 9 channels featuring Odyssey Multi-EQ XT32 acoustic measurement system compatible with Alexa voice control and of course is equipped with 8 HDMI inputs. In his AV cabinet, he's also using the world famous Oppo UDP203 4K player, but mainly streams his media through the 4K NVIDIA Shield TV with the help of this QNAP TS419P Series 2 4 bay NAS used for media file storage and has hooked up a TV tuner, which is the HD Home Run Quattro Box. Let me know if any of you guys have a similar setup for streaming and storage for media files rather than physical media. In this room he also uses the famous universal control, the Logitech Harmony Elite to control the LED lighting and equipment which is also paired with the Amazon Echo Dot that's mounted on the wall. Because Nilesh loves to stream, he's made sure the internet is spot on by running CAT6 cables to all of his UB managed network devices such as router, switches and APs. For display, check this out, 140 inch Screen Technics Cinema Snap 235 to 1 matrix white fixed frame projector screen. Wow Z! Beauty like this enhances your home theater experience with premium resolution technology and state of the art optical structure. If anyone's interested in a high quality screen that doesn't break the bank, this one's it. Paired with this beautiful screen is the phenomenal JVC DLA X500 4K projector. Would you look at that? This beast is equipped with a built in anamorphic lens that's out of this world, delivering sharp pictures with no issues of lamp noise of up to 4000 hours but not compatible with the HDCP 2.2. Let's move on to the decor in this room. I feel that this room is very clean, modern and fun at the same time, luxurious. To the front on either side of the screen as well as on the side wall, we have these film reels which are a nice little touch. Left side wall is the superhero wall. Now Nilesh built this three piece DIY acoustic panel all by himself with some online guides of course which is removable and is covering the window behind it. 
The back wall is the Bollywood wall showcasing some more awesome acoustic panels with his favorites and to the right side of the room is this 2D 3D artwork of a projector which was found on Etsy and painted them gold with minor cutting adjustments. Up above on the ceiling are some more DIY acoustic panels which are held with hooks filled with Earthwool R2.5 woven bats for some room treatment which looks very nice and professional. And of course we can't miss these two rows of four black leather electric reclining seats being complemented with a couple of superhero pillows which also come with built-in cup holder and some storage in the armrests. Nilesh has some cool upgrade plans for his room and one is to replace his down lights to LIFX lights, upgrade his Dolby Atmos speakers to something like the Klipsch CDT5800C, he's also ordered an Electra 3 channel amplifier which is epic and one of the hardest upgrades for a married man is to replace his POG HTS-12s with the SVS PB16 Ultra subwoofers. That's a tough one, mate. Now, before I wrap this up, let me show you guys again what this room used to look like. And take a look at what it is now. Wow, that is just inspiring, incredible, and the list goes on. It truly shows you can transform any room to a space you and your family will enjoy for a very long time. Well, that's a wrap for episode 23, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the room and give Nilesh a big thumbs up for his hard work and creating this beautiful space in his home. If any of you have any suggestions or advice, feel free to shoot a comment down below. I personally think it is a gorgeous room with quality gear and wouldn't change a thing. Stay tuned for a couple of more episodes before we are done for 2020. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.